Hey guys, welcome to Generation Films, my name is Ben, and today we're going to be looking at my top 5 amusing movie death scenes, in no particular order. And don't worry, this isn't going to be one of these moments. I know, he's dying to see it. Oh, uh, speaking of dying, by the way, I would not get attached to the whale, because he dies. Theater team, enjoy. I.e. I won't spoil any movie for you, so I'm not going to pick any unexpected deaths that totally shake up the story. Like if you were playing Final Fantasy VII, for example, and I told you that Ares dies at the end of the first disc. <laughs> oh come on, that game's like 20 years old now, you should have played it already. Anyway, our first death comes from the classic Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, True Lies. The thing that makes this death scene really special is the one-liner delivered by Arnie. You're fired. It turns out Arnie's pretty good at firing people. He did it a lot on The Celebrity Apprentice. I cannot wait to say, you're fired. Or, you're terminated. Or, you won't be back. Until he got, um, fired himself. Or left voluntarily. Who knows? Now let's go over to Asia and check out this death scene from one of Jackie Chan's early movies. You know, before he became a Chinese Communist regime spokesperson. First, some context. White guys, particularly British ones in Chinese movies, are always extremely evil and arrogant. Unfortunately, a Chinese boxer rather overestimated himself and challenged our champion. Twister reluctantly accepted the challenge and although he held back during the fight, the Chinese boxer was so weak that he couldn't stand up to twist his fists. And after a few punches, he tragically died. So it's only right that one should end up dying like this guy does at the end of Snake in the Eagle's Shadow. The movie was shot in 1978, directed by Yuan Wu Ping, who went on to do the martial arts choreography for The Matrix. But I'm sure he still views this as his best work. Still in the Hong Kong martial arts scene, we now have this clip from the movie Thundering Mantis. The main character, after seeing his friend get killed, goes crazy and kills every single member of the gang that kidnapped them. Then goes up against the big boss, who for some reason looks like a vampire. The props department supplied a lot of foam limbs for this one. And unlike other movies where you'd have some sort of moral lesson at the end, no, 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 not with this one. The main character literally just goes crazy, like mentally deranged. Now we go to India for the incredibly thought-provoking and groundbreaking Singham 123, the end scene of which has been met with acclaim by critics. We are about to review the greatest movie scene of all time! In Singham 123, our hero has to save his girlfriend, or wife, or whatever, this alleged sport girl here, from a group of thugs, including one guy who appears to be his evil twin, or is the lead actor also playing an extra in his own movie? Anyway, we sit through some truly inspired choreography and some innovative use of props. A reworking of a classic Matrix style bullet dodge scene. Then we get to the climax, the epic boss battle. And what do you do when the boss battle is about to start? <laughs> That's right, you take your shirt off. Sing on one, two, three, you know how to do action. <laughs> Sing on one, two, three kicks the bad guy in the balls so hard they fall out of his mouth which for some strange reason leads to the house behind him blowing up. So Singer 123 can walk away from the explosion looking like a boss and gets greeted by this friendly guy 
who comes out of nowhere, just like he was watching all along. A truly inspiring movie. Lastly, we have this scene from the 1974 Turkish movie Karate Girl. Basically, it's Pamela Anderson fighting Mr. Bean with karate moves. So they fight for a little while, and then... What? They both had guns all along? So Mr. Bean gets shot, but where? Oh, there's some blood. Did he get shot in the hand? And she shoots him again, apparently in the exact same place. Oh look, it's that war calendar with lovely, beautiful images of the Turkish countryside. And what? He still hasn't fired his gun? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe he's going to fire. Yep, at the floor. Don't call me babe. Okay, I added that line in. So guys, what do you think of these obscure death scenes that you've been missing out on because you've only been watching mainstream movies? Please leave your comments below. Subscribe if you're new. Give this video a like. I'll see you next time. Bye.